Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, what is going on with footies right now? What is EA doing with this promo? It's just not what it used to be. This is not a rant video today, all right? I am a little disappointed. I think a lot of you guys are disappointed too. But what in the world is EA doing? This is disrespectful to the legacy of what this footies promo is about with the content that they dropped yesterday. So we got to look at all of that. We haven't been on for a couple days. So we got to take a look at a couple days worth of content and look forward into today. We have another leak, a footies player leak, which is really interesting. It's a pretty big name player, uh, also a transfer. And we have to look at what content might come out today because there's a very important piece of content that we need to be watching out for today. And it actually relates to gameplay so we're going to talk about that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new now since it's been a couple of days since we've had a live content video i want to take a quick look at over the last two days of content first of all tammy abraham five star four star instead of the five five they didn't give him that five star weak foot like his road to the final card does have but still for me nice card if you want to try him out he's going to be jammy tammy like he always is price is okay Price is decent. I like the card, though. W Dynamic. Kind of wish it was premium, but it is what it is. Can't complain too much. Decent card. 92 plus attacker icon upgrade. Right when I saw this on Sunday, I was like, oh my goodness. They made it cheap. But guess what they also did? They made the pack weight absolutely abysmal. So the fact this SBC is 160,000 coins with how fodder is rising every single which direction right now in this market is a dub. But the fact that you're most commonly seeing Foot Birthday Clivert and players of that nature out of this SBC is an L. So I plan to get this done, maybe. I mean, I was hoping to grant upgrade packs this week, but those are shockingly priced as well. But that's at least a cheap icon attacker SBC. Kind of fun to have it icon specific. You feel like you have a good chance of packing something good, but again, the weight's not that great. But we could do it two times, so that's cool. I have little complaints about that except for the weight, but it's a gamble SBC, so you know going into it that it is a gamble. Now, also yesterday, let's get to yesterday's content. We had a Eusebio foot birthday icon that we knew was coming, right? We knew this was coming out. It was a part of objectives, um, and we figured that the loan version was, of course, going to be a part of the SBC. That's what was listed in objectives as a part of the whole big SBC, and that is exactly what happened. So make sure you get the XP for the Eusebio. 82 rated squad there, not too bad. Uh, for me, this SBC is actually a decent price. I mean, if you think about it, this Eusebio is 1.3 million coins as an SBC. His card just a couple of weeks ago was 1.9 million coins. Now you could say, Nate, there's so many other great players around this game right now. Is this SBC worth doing? Probably not because this card was probably overpriced this last week at 1.5 or 1.7 to 1.9 mil where he was before we knew he was getting an SBC. It's just kind of like the eye contacts, the promo card eye contacts, making this card even a little bit more rare. So if you want to use Sebio first owner in your club, craft it, do the SBC over the long time that you have to do that towards the end of the game here. Uh, but to me, it's decent, right? Not going to complain too much about a decent icon SBC. Five star, five star Eusebio, insanely meta. So that's that one right there. And then, guys, we got to talk about these bad upgrade packs, man. First of all, first of all, the 81 plus player pick with just, what was it last week or two weeks ago? It was an 81 plus player pick where you only had to turn in seven or five golds, whatever it was. And now we have an 80 rated squad. What is EA doing with this, man? They're literally saying, hey, we don't want you to craft it all this week. We're going to drop 85 times 10. We're going to drop all these other player picks, all these player SBCs that are still available. But yeah, we want to make it like, you know, very expensive. What's the uh, what's the cost? 9,000 coins per player pick when last week these were like 5K or 4,000 coins per they want to make it really expensive so that we don't have an ability to craft and do packs in the game this week. Of course, they do that as well on the week where it seems like the footies cards are actually packable. I mean, look at the price of footies Messi right now. I'm pretty sure he's like 9 million coins. He was under 9 mil. Yeah, he's 8.2 mil. I think he even maybe saw the 7 million range yesterday, whereas Ronaldo was still extinct at 15 million coins because barely anybody packed him last week. Griezmann still a million coins. Royce is like 500k. I love the prices of these cards. I love the packability of them. And it's just so disappointing right now in this game that we have no good way to go out and give ourselves a shot at somehow getting fodder to go and do the bigger and better SBCs like that 85 times 10 to try to pack footies cards, to try to craft SBCs with upgrades, a way to grind the menus easily like we should be able to in August now, officially, I can say that now it's time to say it's almost September, right? It's September on this game, man. So 
EA, I just don't like that we don't have the opportunity to craft. I think this 81 plus player pick needed to be, you know, five non rare golds. That's it. Uh, hopefully, we get something else today. It's an upgrade pack, but I doubt it, right? The 86 plus player pick, as we'll talk about, is expiring. Um, and that's maybe an SBC that could come, uh, that could be expiring and then bring back another good SBC. But really, it comes down to the 81 plus player pick, guys. That's the biggest problem. And it's also making me not like this 85 times 10. This is the SBC that's been ruined, guys. The 85 times 10 that comes out during footies every year. This is way earlier than when it came out last year. We could do it twice every single day as well. The price on this one, we had the 84 times 10 SBC last week, right? That was a mere 80,000 coins. So for the extra rating on every single player in the squad, we now have to turn in an extra, what, 60k worth of value. So 140k versus 80k, I think it's a little bit steep. It's not even the price that makes me upset though. It's the fact that we can only uh, do this right now by like buying fodder or doing some of the objectives in the objective section to get packs, to get fodder. I, there's no good way to craft this right now, man. There's no good way to get packs, like upgrade packs, to get the fodder to craft it. So that's my biggest disappointment. And I think that's really why it's downloaded so much. Yes, it's the price, but it's also the craftability of the menus and just the general disappointment with this game. Footies from the beginning has been a disappointment, right? Let's just keep it real. There's been some shining good moments during this promo, but overall, it's just been a little bit of a letdown, especially yesterday on Monday was such a big letdown with the content that was there. It doesn't give you the motivation to grind this game. I've been doing every single 80 six plus player pick i've got all the 84 tens the uh, since what is it like friday or saturday i've got the 85 times tens from yesterday i'm going for messy right but that's because i have coins for some of you guys that are lower on funds unless you're going grind the market right now you're you're out of luck man because fodder is going up and these sbcs are still dropping but there's no good way to get fodder untradeable well Maybe there's going to be one way today. We'll talk about that. But let's first talk about fodder prices. We kind of round this thing up and talk about what's going on in this game right now. 81 rated cards with this player pick being out, requiring an 80 rated squad. 81 rated players were 2,000 coins yesterday. Take a look at Demir Bay. I think these guys are all about one point. Okay, he's 1.9. He just went back up. But 81s being 2K is outrageous. And it's all because of that player pick SBC. 82s were 2.5K. 83s are 3. But really, the big fodder rises you're seeing. 84s, 85s. 86s guys what were these on the weekend seven and a half k i think they were on fridays what we were looking at and trying to buy these cards maltaro on saturday morning was seven and a half thousand coins went to 11 came back down every single day look at this sunday he went to 13k yesterday on monday he went from 11k all the way to 13,000 coins um, you know, what is he, 10,000 right now? Maybe you look at some of these 86s again, and they're going to spike to 13K again today, guys, right? We're getting SBCs every single day that are requiring this fodder. Whether you're trying to trade with it, so we're Sterling went from 9.2 to 12. So maybe it's just a couple certain uh, cards go up a little bit more. But maybe hop on some bids. If you're trying to make some coins right now, hop on bids on the middle to low tier fodder because it moves every single day at content with new SBCs that we keep getting and the refreshes of SBCs every single day. Fakir yesterday hit 10,000 coins. Um, and right now he's 8,300. He had um, almost 10,000 coins on Sunday as well. That might be what we're doing right now in this game is literally just day trading, fluctuation trading, SBC fodder, allowing us maybe to go in and buy some more fodder to do upgrade packs or just to get some coins to do any of the SBCs right now in this game. If you're trying to make some coins or just stock your club, wake up early, maybe stay up a little bit late if you need to. Go through whenever you're on, when the prices get kind of low like they are right now. I'm recording this. Um, usually when the video goes live, we're a slight bit late today, but this is kind of like 5 a.m. UK time or midnight Eastern, right? Kind of in this always lowish point of the market. If you're around anywhere during these times, go out, pick a couple cards up. You see what happens, right? When content drops, these guys spike. Also, be careful of the cards that have price ranges that are almost max. Like, like uh, Serge Nabry, he can't go above 11,000 coins. So just be careful of some of that. But fodder right now is probably one of the best places to trade because that's where the market is moving the most. Now, speaking of fodder, speaking of content, What's going to come today that might need some more content? Well, we already mentioned it. The 86 plus player pick is going away. Adios. See you later. I don't think I packed a single decent card out of this the entire last week. I've got two of them still stocked. I'm on a sign just in case. Um, we're going to try for Messi today, of course, and throughout the rest of this week. But 
Hopefully something else replaces this today. Even if EA did like an 82 plus player pick and made it a lot cheaper, we just need something to grind, right? This menu grind is really just so dead without a good player pick or a good upgrade pack. Now, realistically, what do I expect them to drop today? Probably like an 80 five plus player pick or like an 85 times three i mean they might go with some sort of player pick they might just re-release this thing honestly who knows but i hope we get some other sort of upgrade pick today and also today a place to maybe grind to get some fodder via objectives tuesdays have been foot champs bonus objective days and this goes away today probably going to be another one coming in to replace it again watch out for the leagues right premier league la liga they haven't done mls yet i want them to because i will actually do mls so maybe they'll do that we had shakiri last week so hey maybe there's a correlation there maybe not but watch out for new champs bonus objectives which really is the most important thing about this is you get the packs right and you get the fodder from this if you're able to complete even half of it right just playing a few games you get an 84 plus rare pick you get an 83 double you get an 84 double you win three rivals you get an 81 double you get a win five in, in foot champs qualities you get an 84 times three it's just nice to have a little bit of extra fodder capabilities coming in here and also ea you need to give out champs qualification points for free once again and guys i think it's very likely that they will uh because we have the monthly foot champs rewards right now the monthly bonus i guess you should say grinding for like buchanan for muriel and of course all the way at the end the konate card with the 85 times tens inside of this so i think they're going to give out quality points once again and drop a new foot champs bonus objective today so watch out for that and then also remember last week on tuesday we had the ferrari i think it was ferrari on tuesday maybe it was on wednesday i don't exactly know but this goes away tomorrow so maybe ferrari uh i gotta get a couple games in here to get this ferrari card done what's next the mclaren ea you know come on keep it going so watch out for another one of those kind of like free players maybe that is actually going to be tomorrow though instead of today since it's ferrari is still out for a little bit longer and then other than that i mean we do have a couple player leaks right now we do and i want to cover that because maybe there's a player sbc coming today on tuesdays i think tuesdays in the past have been player sbc days here's the leak kula bali is coming as a footies sbc soon but i'll say it once again i mean obviously kula bali transferred to the south saudi league this could be like the first of a lot of players who have transferred to the saudi league who maybe get some cards at the end of fifa 23 kind of like Maybe even a prelude to who's getting a ones to watch in FC24. I don't know. Uh, that could be a really nice card. The problem is probably your links, right? I mean, he would be a premium for sure. It would have to be. But he wouldn't provide a ton of links to the rest of the squad unless you're trying to make like a Saudi League hybrid or um, you're going to use like Al Al or even Al a, a hero already. So he's got good links. But that would be an interesting SBC and he would definitely be an overpowered meta center back Koulibaly is always op i used his team of the year honorable mentions card for a long time and he was super duper good so watch out for that one and then of course we still have this neymar leak right this neymar is probably going to be in packs right a team three for footies seems very very likely team two is going out of packs with messi this friday i i can't imagine this is going to be an SBC, guys it's going to be in packs so those are the two leaks that we have again we've talked about neymar before but this koulibaly is the newest one could be an SBC player today so watch out for that that'd be a transfer SBC player as well ea where are some of our other transfer SBCs? we've had mccallister um who's the other one that we had oh carvalho we need some more like keep them coming i know that you're kind of mixing them in uh like with this uh, cool to Bali or some of the other footies players they've mixed in the transfer aspect of it but keep those specific transfer SBCs incoming as well we do like those now I know the market's not the most popular place to be talking about things right now but we got to talk about a few things because once again if you guys are trying to play with any of these footies cards the prices are going up look at Marco Royce 540 550k a lot of these cards started going up from Sunday right once again it's the same sort of fluctuation as of last week, Sunday, Monday, these guys got low. Royce dropped from 640 on Sunday all the way down to 530. And then on Monday morning, he had a really low point at 470, but he was chilling around 500 to 515, maybe 520. And now these guys are just starting to rise because once again, the content is kind of mid. The supply stops from weekend league rewards and the prices just start to go up. For Lan, 115,000 coins. Yaya was under 2.5 or around 2.5 mil. He's now about 2.7, so he's rising up. I think Griezmann was 1.05 or something like that. 
He's starting to go up a bit. Cassie's up like 40K. He was like 630, 640. So a lot of your footies cards from Team 2 are slightly rising into the week as people want to use them. They want to try them. Um, and, of course, they're a lot cheaper than Team 1, so it seems very possible to do that. But the rest of the market, man, what did we talk about earlier in this week? We talked about other card prices starting to fall because the footies cards were actually attainable and also there are so many SBCs right now on this game that are draining coins from the market like crazy. Also, store packs, really expensive store packs. Like I opened the 500k pack with coins. You guys saw that. got absolutely shafted. Um, guys, the rest of the market right now is just slowly starting to drop. On the middle tier, it, you're seeing it the most. Rudiger, 268,000 coins. I know the 93 plus shapeshifter player pick maybe has a little bit of effect on this, but what was he on Friday when this content dropped? 337,000 coins, right? Since Footy's Team 2 has uh, come out with the SBCs and stuff like that, he's been down to like 250, 260K. He's 270 right now. I looked through the rest of kind of the shapeshifters teams. Uh, Martial is down. Um, let's see who else. Um, Richarlison and Neuer. Those are low prices for them. What about some of our team of the season cards? Uh, Musiala is still up a little bit. You know, these guys are, you know, they're moving. Ooh, Rashford's down 100,000 coins. A lot of cards are just starting to trickle down in price, and you're seeing on some of the most recent promo team cards. Uh, some of the level ups are, you know, Chameni with the Rodrigo links. He's still up a little bit. Goretzka being rare. He's still up a little bit. Same thing with Martinelli. But Varane is down. Uh, some of your level up team of one cards, I would have to imagine, are chilling down a little bit, but they're also just stupid rare. So those are kind of all over the place. Probably not the best example, but some of your team of the season and your shapeshifters just continue to slide. And I think it's going to happen even more towards the end of the week because people are going to start to speculate with footies batch one finally about to go out of packs on friday i know it's still a couple days away but you're going to start to think about maybe shapeshifters maybe a few and uh team of the season's coming into packs for best of batch number two so we're keeping an eye out on that but really this game right now is just being affected so much even though the SBCs we think are not that great of value if people are coming on to fifa and playing the game they're doing those SBCs, and fodder is up a lot so coins are being drained and it's impacting the market a lot. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this, but EA did also release pitch notes yesterday for career mode. Um, and, of course, there's no online career mode, so instant L, right? That's something people have been wanting career mode for a long time. I really don't play career mode. But one thing I want to point your attention to is the pre-match preparations and a lot of the cutscenes that you see in the trailer, kind of like in the locker room, walking out to the pitch. There's going to be more news on that coming soon. But that's actually going to be very integrated into Ultimate Team as well kind of like the halftime before the game i hope you're able to kind of skip through some of that because the cutscenes this year in fc24 are going to look a lot different as far as i'm concerned and you've got a little bit of a taste of that in the career mode deep dive announcement that was dropped yesterday so fingers crossed something good comes today get us excited a little bit yay for this game today with the upgrade packs for the grind i'm going to be trying to pack messi we're going to be sending it the every single day this week every single 85 times 10 every single player pick upgrade packs probably even some more store packs because if i'm getting 99 messy this is my chance to do it so i'm gonna go for it this week because he's not unpackable we've seen him packed a few times i've seen a lot of people pack yaya as well it's kind of crazy the pack with these footies team two cards is there and that's why we're gonna go for it so if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new i'll see you back on a twitch stream today that link is down in the description as well. It's been Native Accountant. See you guys there. Peace.